me? Yeah. You know what that is? It's a fish. <laughs> is that a pompano? Yes. Okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Jesse, Slot City Fishing. I got a comment recently that said, Did you ghost us? No, I just been really busy. Uh, I want to make some more videos. Uh, so today, I got a special one for you. Uh, it's an old school technique that I heard of people doing it, and I kind of spun it into my own thing, going along with the float hook video. Uh, that video's got like 40,000 views or something on it now. It's a really popular one. I think it circulated a lot of like Facebook pages and stuff like that. But this is an even better way, cheaper way, and it's accessible to pretty much everyone. And uh, it only costs like a, a few bucks uh, to do it. And it's kind of funny. Uh, and it kind of proves a point that I really think the fish will eat pretty much just about anything but i'm here with my family i got my wife and my daughter and her friend out here so i'm gonna rig back up keep on fishing back at the house i'm gonna show you how to make these real quick uh, but first i wanted to say thanks to uh to everyone really i hit 22,000 subscribers the other day it was pretty mind-blowing considering i only upload like a handful of videos a year uh and then all the sweet comments that i get i uh, you know, even though I'm not uploading, I still get comments all the time, like thanking me for teaching people how to do stuff and whatnot. And then today, uh, I just walked probably 50 yards down the beach and two dudes recognized me and came up and talked to me, man. They both said thank you uh, for teaching them how to tie rigs. Thanks again for watching the show, man. Oh yeah, man, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to come introduce myself to you. Oh yeah? You're the one that got me into tying my own rigs. Oh, for real? Yeah, man. So when this guy over here from Mississippi told me that you were who you were, huh. I was like, I gotta go down. Yeah, that's right, sick. Matt. Uh, that kind of stuff means a lot man if you guys see me out and about dude like you're not going to bother me one bit to stop me and say what's up it, it makes me feel real good when you guys do that so appreciate y'all and then let me show you how to make these all right here we go flip flop rig first i wanted to show you on here um this whole spool this is berkeley big game trialing 30 pounds i use 30 because i don't believe uh that scaling down your line makes that big a difference and then also if i hook something big i don't want to lose it on like 14 pound tests um fluorocarbon leader so i'll use 30 pound mono for pretty much everything now <clears throat> eight dollars 74 cents uh these box uh, hooks seven dollars and 12 cents for 40. uh and then swivels a dollar 20 uh, and coast locks were 260 so less than like 15 20 dollars for all that um and yeah um this you can tie 40 rigs this you can tie hundreds of rigs so there was a video the other day of somebody talking about is it worth it for you to tie your own rigs is it cost effective the, the answer is absolutely yes it is cost effective if you hear anybody say anything otherwise they absolutely are trying to sell you something. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. Just look a little deeper and you'll see that they're selling the stuff. If, if it weren't cost effective to tie your own rigs, why would anybody make rigs to sell, period? It wouldn't make any sense if there wasn't profit to be made. All right, <clears throat> anyway, uh, two watt Circle C uh, laser sharp hook. That's the best one for pompano fishing, in my opinion. And it's the most accessible. Buy them at Walmart. It's the cheapest way. Flip flop. I got this from um, Dollar General. It was like a dollar or two, man. And I tied like 30 of these things this morning just on like this bottom part. So anyway, getting to it. All that you do is cut you a piece. Uh, the whole float rig thing, if you're new to my channel, I made a video about this last year and it kind of blew up on social media. Um, it ended up getting like, I don't know, like 8,000 views in like a couple days or something. But immediately after that, people started making their own version and selling them. There's another guy around here who's promoting this company and trying to sell them. And they, don't get me wrong, they're cool. But I, I don't want to pay five, six dollars for rigs, man, when I can buy this flip flop and make a million of them for way, way, way cheaper. And it's more satisfying, dude. Look at it. chilling outside, have a nice beer, tie some rigs, dude. It's awesome. So, anyway, 
super easy dude all that i did was cut a little piece of that and legit i just put it on the hook just like you would like bait is legit that simple <clears throat> and then once it's on there all that i do is just make it look how i want it but yeah it was probably like 10 people man went on social media after i uploaded that video selling float rigs like right away and it's just like man i don't i don't see how people can do that like how taking something that's so so cheap and easy to do and try to capitalize on naive people but anyway that's it this was like the first concept design this hook is rusty as hell because it's been outside uh but it was one of them little pill floats these things are fragile like look you just like break it off like i i don't even know if i could tear this off like it's way more durable and i i don't have to cut floats or melt floats or heat the hook up or nothing like that it's it's just way better dude and also it compresses like are you worried about the hook gap i'm like look it's it's totally like nothing is impeding that hook set <clears throat> so let's do another one Uh, and then when I did this this morning, I actually dropped these into my pool to make sure that they're buoyant. And they are. <coughs> Alright, so now that we have that, let's go ahead and tie this rig. Like I said before, this is just Berkeley Big Game Trilene. And yeah, I'm not the only person who who's, uses this, man. Um, out of respect for people and i'm not advertising for anybody anymore but i can tell you dude some big names in the surf fishing community you take a guess who i'm talking about there's several of them they're using this man they're not using fluorocarbon all that stuff's a scam same thing with swivels dude these are 75 pound swivels this is 30 pound line this line is gonna snap way 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 faster than this swivel like people buy huge like 100 pound test swivels it's obnoxious they'll buy those giant swivels and then say i like to use nice stuff okay that's cool but like it doesn't make sense like you're using 20 pound test line with a 100 pound swivel like your line is gonna break before that swivel use small swivels uh i have lots of videos on the channel about how to tie rigs so i'm just going to do this one real quick if you want to learn how to tie rigs like very in depth uh go watch my other videos there some some aspects of them are kind of outdated now because like crazy beads and floats and stuff like that i don't use that anymore like i think that that's all bullshit to be honest with you uh a, a huge myth is that fish are smart or that fish can like see really well and they can see your line that's just absolutely not true bro I want you to think about something. If you think that that fish is being shied away from your rig because of the fishing line, size, and clarity, why aren't they scared of this big ass hook, this big giant metal hook? Which one do you think that they can see better? This big hook or that line? You tell me. I think that that's a huge myth and very silly. Uh, same thing, beads, floats. Ironically, dude, uh, that pill float that I showed you earlier, the one from last year, I dropped a rig in the pool made from those, and those floats aren't even buoyant enough to float the hook. There's, like, not even any point to using them. <clears throat> All right. I guarantee you, man, if you go down the beach and you see some for real, like, big you know well-known heavy hitter surf fishermen they're not using that stuff dude they're not they're using bare hooks and they're using monofilament line basically they're they're making it as cheap as possible because it's the it's the experience and time on the water that catches fish it's not gear no, no amount of gear is going to make you a better fisherman it's fun to buy and it might make you feel good for a second but it's not gonna make you catch more fish, dude. 
Alright. <clears throat> what a nice day. Super quiet. Alright. And this is what I call just a naked rig. There's nothing on it right now. <clears throat> A company last year tried to offer me a deal to do rigs with them and I eventually turned it down because they were going to pay me a dollar a rig and I realized that that's not Q. They wanted to use my likeness and image and brand and personality and all that stuff for them to make money on and just pay me like a dollar per rig. Stupid. Anyway, I wish that people would just sell this, just this alone, but, but cheap. Now, if somebody could sell this at an affordable price, that way it saves me from having to do it, I would buy that. But it would have to be real cheap. Okay, anyway, uh, swivel on one end, coast lock on the other, just like always. And then <clears throat> we just loop on the hooks. Another super hot topic debate that people talk about is with putting your hooks on backwards, like whether you should put them like loop them on that that way like with the hook out or the hook in i also think that that's totally stupid i don't think it makes one difference at all and i'm not just you know full of smoke either you guys like i was a flight engineer aircraft mechanic i'm a pilot now like i know how shit works and that to me is just silly All right, folks, and there you go. All right, that's how you do it. Super, super easy and super, super cheap. Flip-flop rigs. Now you don't got to buy floats. Uh, there's another video on my channel where I show you that you can get the cost of tying rigs down to like 10 cents. Anybody who tells you that you need to buy store-bought rigs or that their rigs are the best, or if you see a hyperlink on a Facebook page, a dude just caught a fish and he says he couldn't do it without this rig, that guy's getting paid in some way. Maybe not monetarily, but he's getting product for free, something like that, and all that's just super lame to me now. Uh, I'm starting to do a new thing on the channel. I dropped all my sponsors, and I'm really stripping stuff back to where I, how I used to make videos in like 2018, 19, where it's legit just me teaching you stuff. No ads, none of that stuff. Uh, all, all that stuff's not really cool to me anymore. Uh, but anyway, um, float rig, dude, uh, with the flip-flop. I'm going to show you now on the beach that it works, and I'm going to keep on doing this from now on, I think. So, uh, yeah, let's go. We got something. He's swimming in. Yeah. Nice. It's official. You can catch Pompano on flip flops. All right, everybody. It worked on the flip flop float. And this guy is about 14 and a half. So, real nice size. But yeah, flip flop float worked. Uh, we still got about an hour or so to fish. So, I'm gonna try to catch some more of these, but this is a real nice one. All right, unfortunately, my time is up, but I was only out here for about an hour and a half, and I caught a really nice uh, 14 and a half inch pompano. So we're gonna take it back, cook it up, 
Uh, but I'm definitely going to be using that technique a lot more. I hope you learned from the video. I showed you exactly how to do it. All you need is a flip flop from the Dollar Tree. I got the uh, those that teal one because it kind of looks like a pompano. I don't know. And uh, green, I do really think that is green is a thing here in the Panhandle. Green's a good color. If you are going to use floats or whatever, uh, use green ones. Uh, you can see green rigs all over the place. Not, I'm not going to name any, but it's a very popular color in the Panhandle for a good reason. It works down here. Um, but yeah, flip flop float. I'm going to be doing that all the time now. I like it because it's cheap and it compresses uh, and it's more durable than those floats. Uh, the, when I was using those last year, they would break all the time. The fish could munch them off. These, they just chew them. They can't, can't get it off the hook either. Cool. Well, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.